Pauli Parrot reunites with longtime NCIS co star years after exiting as Abby in new photos. New adorable photos show Pauli Parrot reuniting with her longtime NCIS co star after she exited the police procedural. The actor played Abby Sayato, the beloved major case response teams, MCRT, forensic scientist for a decade and a half. She was part of the original NCIS cast joining Mark Harmon's Gibbs Michael Weatherly's Dinazzo David McCallum's Ducky and Sasha Alexander's Kate. While the project was already used to departing cast members by then Parrot's NCIS exit was controversial because of the behind-the-scenes drama that led to it. Sharing some images on Instagram Parrot reveals that she spent some time with Jimmy Palmer actor and longtime NCIS cast member Brian Dietzen. Check out the images below. The pair both attended Sarah McLaughlin's performance at the Hollywood Bowl and made sure to commemorate it with some pictures. Parrot and Dietzen were joined by Criminal Minds star Kirsten Vangsness who plays Penelope Garcia in the ongoing Paramount Plus revival. It's worth noting that none of the original cast members were in NCIS season 21. Despite being introduced early on Dietzen wasn't part of the show's inaugural ensemble. However he and Parrot worked together closely during their overlapping years in the series considering the nature of Abby and Palmer's jobs. Parrot left in NCIS season 15 with Abby's decision to walk away from her long-term job stemming from a traumatic experience that put her life in jeopardy. In reality however it was her issues with Mark Harmon that prompted her to leave. For context she only seemed to have an issue with Harmon which is backed up by her latest friendly encounter with Dietzen. Regardless of the way that she exited NCIS CBS executives have recently revealed that the door is always open for Parrot to return if she wishes to. For context she only seemed to have an issue with Harmon which is backed up by her latest friendly encounter with Dietzen. Since Gibbs is no longer a part of MCRT the actor can now more easily reprise her role as Abby in NCIS season 22. Regardless of what happened between them coming back to the CBS police procedural means that she won't have to work with Harmon. Before CBS can do it an unexpected NCIS project reunites Gibbs' best team after a decade. However it's unknown if Mark Harmon will also be involved. Perhaps Dietzen can convince her to do even just a cameo. NCIS season 21 already brought back Weatherly's Dinazzo and as brief as that was it was a treat seeing him back in the iconic Navy Yard offices. Since Abby was on the show for longer it's safe to say that seeing her step back into her old workplace particularly her laboratory would be a treat for longtime followers of the procedural. Considering Abby's special expertise NCIS could always use someone like her in its operation. Since she worked under director Leon Vance for the majority of her years in the agency it shouldn't be difficult to convince him to bring her in as additional support if Parrot cannot reprise the role full time. Casey Hines as the current MCRT forensic scientist is great but it would be difficult to find anyone who would oppose Abby coming back regardless of the circumstances surrounding her return. Abby's Duck Attribute episode Easter Egg was a reminder of how missed she is down in the basement. If Vance is on their side they may not even have to declare Abby as anything but a consultant or even a visitor to the agency. In any case Abby's return doesn't mean that she's going to reclaim her old spot and push Casey out. Casey has spent enough time building up her place within the team making her a key part of the current operation. Chances are Abby's appearance could be just for a limited time frame brought on by a crisis or a personal case. If Vance is on the team's side they may not even have to declare Abby as anything but a consultant or even a visitor to the agency. There are a couple of ways for NCIS to recruit Abby back. For starters she can easily come back to MCRT as another forensic scientist. Perhaps the organization is working on a much bigger case that would need more personnel. This would provide an opportunity to show how she and Heinz collaborate. Otherwise they could also mine inspiration from Ziva David's last NCIS comeback and tackle a case that is directly tied to her effectively involving her. Tim McGee, Nick Torres and Palmer would be eager to help her and keep her safe from any kind of threat. Secondly and maybe a much easier route is for her to return via the upcoming NCIS, Tony and Ziva spin-off. The Weatherly and Code de Pablo project will be on Paramount Plus and see the couple with their daughter Taylor go on the run across Europe. 
Details about what led to this dire situation are still scant at the moment but assuming that Abby is still in London it wouldn't be that difficult for them to meet up with her. Abby adored both Tony and Ziva in NCIS so she would likely be really happy to help them in their time of need. NCIS Season 22 will premiere as part of CBS 2024-2025 TV schedule. Source, Pauli Parrot slash Instagram. NCIS, Naval Criminal Investigative Service, focuses on the sometimes complex and always amusing dynamics of a team forced to work together in high-stress situations. Special Agent Alden Parker a quirky former FBI agent who solves his cases with calm professionalism and sharp sarcastic charm leads the NCIS team which includes NCIS Special Agent Timothy McGee an MIT graduate with a knack for computers who has now graduated to senior field agent, the charismatic unpredictable and resilient NCIS Special Agent Nicholas Nick Torres who has spent most of his career on solo undercover assignments, and sharp athletic and tough NCIS Special Agent Jessica. Knight a formidable react agent who specializes in hostage negotiations and high-risk operations. The naive Jimmy Palmer is assisting the team who graduated from assistant to fully licensed medical examiner and now runs the morgue, and forensic scientist Casey Hines Ducky's former graduate assistant. Overseeing operations is NCIS director Leon Vance an intelligent highly trained agent who can always be counted on to shake up the status quo. From murder and espionage to terrorism and stolen submarines these special agents investigate all crimes with Navy or Marine Corps ties. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. New details about the Tony and Ziva spin-off reveal how the show can fix one of the biggest problems with the characters' romance on NCIS, Tony and Ziva. Doctor Who Season 14's Dot End Bubble is a distinctly different episode for the long-running sci-fi show and the exact opposite of the episode prior. Although Yellowstone is set to conclude after its highly anticipated Season 5 Part 2 exiting star Kevin Costner had a very different plan in mind. Song Kang's most underrated K-drama may not have been a global hit like Sweet Home but it was still an incredible series with great performances. Years after her controversial exit as Abby Sayato in the procedural Pauli Parrot reunites with her longtime NCIS co-star in New Adorable Images. Young Woman and the Sea is Disney's latest inspiring sports drama. Daisy Ridley headlines the ensemble cast and here's who else is in it. Dee Bradley Baker speculates on the tantalizing clone stories that can still be potentially explored in spin-offs after the Bad Batch's ending. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts.